Greetings everybody, it is I, Irish Trekkie, back with another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection issue review. This time featuring issue 127, we have the Starship from the iMorg, yes. Um, interesting uh, ship from the remastered uh, series of the original series. And um, yeah, from a very good episode as well. So let's put this interesting little ship to one side. And let's have a look at the magazine, shall we? So, there we have the iMorg ship in full glory. Very, very interesting, uh, design-wise. And, um, you know, it has some interesting uh, story uh, to it as well. Uh, 23rd century in use, that is. Crew of one, propulsion ion, and its origin is Sigma Draconis 6. Four sections in the magazine. We have the iMorg ship, designing the ship, uh, TOS producer Gene L. Kuhn, and we have on-screen appearances. So we have the pilot Cara, um, crew of one, it's a scout ship, and then we have some interesting detailing here on the ion propulsion mechanism as well. So yeah, who remembers the episode? Spock's brain. <laughs> um, very cool actually and uh, actually that's a nice shot there very well done on the, the graphics guys so uh, the iMorg starship had an unusual configuration and was much different to most vessels used by the federation worlds the front of the iMorg starship was a spherical dome and it was surrounded by five pods which each one containing an ion drive Incredibly, the technology used to create the ship was first devised by the iMorg's ancestors 10,000 years earlier. So, even at Federation level, this was an advanced ship. But to actually have the technology in canon lore to be 10,000 years in use as well, that's crazy. Love it, love it. Uh, here we have Kara, and again the iMorg. So, um... It will go into detailing about the story of you know why they went after um why they went after Spock to be honest with you and you know uh, the separation of the, the women and the men and how they basically their mental capabilities kind of went into atrophy when a natural disaster consumed their world you know ten thousand years ago and there were Basically, their welfare was looked after by the controller. But uh, do check out the episode uh, for more storyline on it. Um, here we have the profile of the ship. Um, so, another piece of technology that the iMorgs possessed was a device worn on the wrist that featured a number of buttons. Kara was able to use this to render the entire crew of the Enterprise unconscious. Later, the same device was used to induce crippling pain on members of the landing party. The iMorgs had also fitted a belt-like appliance to some of the morgues, and this increased the level of pain dispensed by the bracelets, the bracelets devices. So yeah, they liked dispensing pain, didn't they? Uh, those old iMorgs. So, as I said, this was the design from the uh, remastered version. So visual effects supervisor, Neil Ray, it leapt to the chance of creating a new look for the iMorg Starship. So here's the original one, uh, more of a retro feel. So the iMorg Starship, as it appeared in 1968, was a mere, was a more of a conventional rocket ship design. Um, the special effects back then were severely limited by budget, but they managed to meet the requirements of the script uh, that asked for a long, slender, needle-like vessel. So they didn't go with that... Uh, requirement for design for the remastered so obviously they went with the spherical dome uh, a lot more uh, propulsion units but you know some authors was uh, brought through i think uh, honoring some of the design there as well um so here we have a piece on Jean l coon and um, tos producer so do check that out if you want to have a look at it i won't be kind of going through that in detail here but um yeah, involved in some very cool stories. And uh, yeah, Spock's Brain is the episode of uh, Appearance, the original series, and uh, the remastered design was done by Neil Ray. So um, yeah, let's have a look at this model, shall we? But before we do, stay tuned for issue 128. We have 
Space Shuttle OV-165. One that I'm really, really looking forward to. I hope it's good. Um, I hope I don't suffer from anticipation on that. But um, yeah, let's close out on the back cover. And uh, let's have a look at this model, shall we? Here we go. Let's take her out. Put that down there. And we'll come back to the stand at a later time. So, it's weighty. Die cast. Yeah, pretty much die cast all over with just plastic aft components there. So, um, sculpt is pretty cool actually. Um, but one of the kind of winners of this is the paint apps. Uh, you can see the subtle Aztecing there along pretty much all the major components with just monotone uh, linkages there. Uh, some orange accents. Uh, big orange display back here. Uh, we've got plastic components. Yay! I think they're plastic. Yes, they are plastic. With orange painted uh, central units there as well. Seam really nicely built into the design of it. So that's pretty cool. And again, soft seams throughout, which build into potential panelling on it as well. So again, credit where credit's due. You know, there's no mount points or anything like that at all here. Um, which is the which is the up face here. And that's how it is on the front cover. So maybe it's like it's like that because it's asymmetrical when you look at these components here but anyway I digress Um, so yeah that looks pretty nice for a remastered version or is there any remastered fans watching the episode here uh, do you prefer the original design of the starships featured in the original series or do you like the reimagining of like the iMorg uh, what did we have the reimagining of as well some federation ship, the name escapes me. Ah, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll let me know in the comments below. <laughs> um, we also have the Gorn ship as well, and the Orion ship um, from the original series too. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, listen, there's not a huge amount to go into on these particular ships as well. It's more the paint app and just the overall sculpt in there. Some nice detailing on those linkages inside the ring. In here as well so that's cool I love how some of the ships are ring like the Orion ship um, Falcons uh, the early like the NASA design you know the warp nacelles as well the ring um, I like that kind of connected ethos there as well so uh, let's put this on a stand and let's compare it to a ship in the line shall we so base fans out there we have iMorg Ion Drive Ship 1100A slash A. Nice number, actually. Um, so, yeah, let's kind of, you know, let's mount her like they did on the magazine. Not so much magazine, but actually, no. Front cover, it was like that. So, centrally mounted and decent enough mounting bracket as well to kind of accommodate the design of the ship. But um, yeah, it's in there pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's how you mount it. Let me just double check here, because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, that is not how you mount it. <laughs> good thing I double checked, because we're mounting them this way, which actually makes more sense. Is that how they're doing it? No, that way. That's actually better. Foolish, foolish Irish tricky. Always consult the magazine. So it clips onto one of the ion um, propulsion units there along the outer ring. So pretty, pretty solid in there actually. And gives it quite a high stance as well. So just be conscious, you know, if you have limited space or narrow shelving, that um, this could be um, a bit of a chore to accommodate. Uh, but anyway. Let's see what this is like in comparison to a ship in the line, just to get a sense of scale. And uh, we'll wrap up the video then, shall we? So here we have the iMark Starship side by side with the USS Enterprise. Why not? <laughs> 
they both had the same episode appearance. So um, just gives you a sense there of uh, what we're talking about when it comes to scale for the iMorg ship and the Enterprise. Uh, very different in design. 10,000 years separate their technological inception, there or thereabouts. But um, nice uh, companion pieces um, for you original series fans out there. Original remastered series fans. So uh, yeah, that concludes today's video of issue 126. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and uh, watch. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought and uh, if this is on your radar to pick up. And as always, I've been your local Irish Trekkie and I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye. Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection issue review, this time featuring issue 126, we have the Niagara class, we have the USS Princeton here, NCC 59804, very unique ship, um, not the first Wolf 359 ship that we've seen, but um, this will raise some eyebrows I think, and I'll be very curious to know what you folks think of this at home, but before we have a look at the model, Let's have a look and see what goodies lay inside the magazine, shall we?